is up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the chaos don't judge a lot of stuff going on with a bunch of different hobbies but my main focus right now uh, we've got some nasty weather coming through Texas it's gonna kill a little bit of the bike coming up but I found some awesome stuff and I want to share it with you um, first take notes right here if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please this is valuable check it out power tech universal t-rack this one happened to be sold as a set right um, came with two hold down clamps why does this matter to you well if you're not into kayaks and accessories and all that stuff it probably doesn't so my bad didn't mean to waste your time but if you are then it does you guys know um, all the main brands not even gonna mention them like t-rex expensive is what it is uh, these are great they've held up I mean they hold my uh, Garmin 93 SV HD like no problem I mean I, I leave that mount on um, it hasn't been an issue killer however on my life tank Teton Pro, I don't have anything in the back, and I have some very exciting projects coming up for that. If you've watched any of the other videos, you already might know what it is. If you haven't, again, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other stuff. Okay, now, time for the value. 48 inches of aluminum T-Track. Bam. That is awesome. I don't know what it's doing to the focus. Um, this is an aluminum T-Track. Now, it has mounting holes spread out about every, I don't know, about every three inches, I'd say. Um, you can always drill more and uh, countersink and, you know, do as you please. Um, but, aluminum T-Track and a couple of these guys. Um, pretty basic how they work, right? Also, another quick tip for you, right? Um, this stuff will be linked in the description below. It was way cheaper. I'm gonna cut this up and use it in a couple different places where I don't necessarily want to permanently mount something, um, but I wanna be able to kind of play with a few different accessories. And so, for that reason, T-Track, why not? Um, one of the cool things, the way this works, you take these bolts, which, by the way, if you've ever installed a toilet, you know what the cheat code is for that, uh, right? You, you don't have to get these overpriced, like, for marine use and blah, blah, blah. Anywho, it's crazy overpriced. Um, if you've installed a toilet, you know these are the bolts that you use to hold the toilet down. Anywho, with these guys, slip them in. Slide them on, drop a washer, give it a spin. Anywho, if I needed to clamp down, I don't know, if I need to clamp down a knife, right, for whatever reason, I don't know why. But that's literally what these are for. Um, they came with it. I don't know what I'm going to use them for just yet. I'm um, going to close that so I don't end up having to do an episode of how to super glue a, uh, you know, sliced finger shut. But, again, they uh, they came with the hold down clamps. Um, don't know if I'll use them, but uh, certainly pretty neat. And, uh, again, I can use them in my other T-Tracks, right? Again, they slide right on these guys on here drop a washer and because they're a through hole design uh, you know it doesn't need to be short sighted if you know then you understand that a lot of these guys these screw on types like the reason they're short is so they don't end up screwing down into your into your t-track um, which then makes them unusable these go from a bottom-up design, which means 
whatever you need to do with them. So uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, if you've watched my other videos. You know that I will get creative and repurpose things and, uh, you know, potentially save you some money. So, anywho, first thing, aluminum Universal T track. And it was way cheaper than all the, like, kayak name brand stuff. Done. I'll never waste money on that again. Um, especially since I get some nice aluminum ones. They're pretty. Uh, so... That's the first big one. Next. Y'all, um, uh, I'm still waiting for some stuff to be delivered. So I'm not sure what's in here. Give the video a like. If this is your type of thing, subscribe to the channel. Okay, awesome. So, um, you know, if you've got the high-end kayaks that have all the access hatches and all that that's great that's awesome i envy you um i'm kind of cheap so uh i've got lifetime kayaks and you know what i'm stoked on them i like to tinker i like to do stuff like that so here we are but there's not always hatches there's a hatch in the front but i got nothing in the back working on transom mounts back there again check out the other channels and um you know, six inch hatches are all over the place. I just quite frankly don't have a place for a six inch hatch. Found a four inch, pretty rad. Um, doesn't, doesn't come with any many hardware, um, but that's fine. I would do my own anyways. I do a big old bead of B6000, whatever, marine grade silicone. Um, pretty neat, little guy here. See if I can get it to focus. Uh, it does have a, if you guys can see, it does have a little foam action there to uh, kind of help with sealing that. It's it's just threaded, right? There's no like lock unlock. It just thread it tight and it's sealed down, um, you know. So for everything that we're gonna do on a kayak, it's waterproof enough, ish, whatever. Um, and then again, where I mount this, I will silicone it down so nothing's gonna. It'll be fine. Anywho, it's a four inch. It's only a couple bucks. I'll throw a link in the description. Hopefully have some sort of affiliate link to support the channel and get you a discount. Fair enough. What else do we have? Oh, we got some awesome stuff in here. I'm not gonna bother with these too much. But to me, and hopefully, to you, this community of chaotic fishermen, um, doing like cool little things. This is for the kayak. I've already got a set on the Teton. I don't have a set on the Tamarack Pro. Um, and uh, by the way, quick tip, if you're scrolling through eBay and Amazon, and you find one that you like, and you're like, oh, cool, that's that thing that I want. It's $6.99. I'm going to go ahead and buy one. Don't put it in your cart just yet. Or actually, put it in your cart, but don't purchase it. Then scroll through the similar items. What I found was that this reflective shark tooth set for the other kayak, as you can see, there's two of them. Uh, it was. It was like five or six bucks. And then I added it to my cart. I didn't check out yet. And then I went into similar products, and all of a sudden, I found a two-pack for the same price. So I got them. Put it in your cart, keep shopping around, whatever the case, or give it 20 minutes, and then go look at your suggested products. Chances are it will show a seller offering two of the same thing at the same price, thus getting you half off or giving you two for the same price. Anywho, they came rolled up. <laughs> if I was recording the other video, you'd know this. They were rolled up pretty tight, as you can see and uh, kind of makes them a pain in the butt to roll on that way. So what I'm doing is getting some of these heavy boards and setting them down so that it will kind of flatten out. Um, pro tip, use a heat gun, all that different stuff. I'll, I'll make a quick video. I know it's basic, but I see a lot of people like with kayaks a year old and they've not done anything to them maybe they like it simplistic and for that that's great or 
maybe like a lot of comments I see on other videos, they're just not sure how to do it. And somebody hasn't taken the time to walk them through it. So I'll do it. Here we are. So I'm going to flatten those out. And when I do install them, I'll use a heat gun. I'll make a video for you. Got some fun stuff for that tomorrow. All right. Uh, the other thing real quick four inch hatch and basically it screws on uh why is this neat well if you have um some of the hobies and uh other kayaks that have access panels so that you can like back uh your installations with uh, nuts and different stuff like that that's great uh, my lifetime kayaks don't have anything in the back to be able to access and i don't have a big six inch area to do it i found a four inch um, it is waterproof from the top. It doesn't come with any mini hardware, which I don't care because I wouldn't probably use it anyways. It's got a big foam ring here. So uh, for everything that we're going to do, it's going to be waterproof-ish enough. Four inch and they are there. The next thing that I opened up when I looked into the bag because I didn't know what was delivered and what wasn't is a nice inline 40 amp uh, nice fuse. Uh, this is for the trolling motor that I'm getting ready to install, and um, I didn't want to have to replace stuff. It does have some nice little rubber grommets on each side. Uh, I ordered this Sunday night. It came in, uh, what is today, Wednesday? So um, that all goes in there, gives it a little seal. Sorry, uh, new to the YouTube thing, right? Gives it a little seal. Uh, nice little design. Again, manual, 40-inch reset fuse uh, and just protect your electronics it was a couple bucks it'll mount right in to where i'm gonna have all this stuff and uh just give me if nothing else a little extra peace of mind so there is that throw that to the side we've done the fuse we've done the hatch we've done the rail we've done the stickers what else super sweet deal so part of my trolling motor install transom mount is going to be able to like raise and lower it um i don't have places around me where i'm not allowed to have a trolling motor in my kayak i know that in arkansas oklahoma a couple places there are some areas where you can't have it and that's fine it won't be so permanent that i can't just take it off in about 10 minutes um, if i get the opportunity to go to a place by the way if you've got a spot, you want me to come out and take a trip, I'd be totally down. Leave it in the comments, hit me up, let me know. But in the meantime, I picked up some of these Mizugiwa Innovation, Ingenuity, and Integrity. Okay. Um, our friendly customer service team will work hard to put a smile back on your face. We're just happy that you're happy and if you don't know how to express your newfound joy we've got suggestions share your experience by writing a review tell your friends and families many families connect with this anyhow this is so that when i do my pull cord to raise and lower my motor it will have a cleat system to do that right i wanted to keep it simple um I don't know if I'm going to use these bolts for installation or not. I don't know if they're needed to. I don't know if it'll come apart without them. These aren't like the name brand uh, super awesome ones. These are the, um, I bought a Lifetime Kayak, not a $4,000 kayak. I don't know if there's any of y'all out there like that. But I'll put a link to these. Real quick shipping. And uh, good size. Good enough size for the uh, 550 cord that I'll be using um, be able to latch that in there bring this up give you a good view but um, these are super neat they'll go right on the edge I'll be able to pull the string through and then it will snug down on them they're spring loaded uh, I mean, they use a countersunk head they come with a little bit of mounting hardware I'll use some other stuff but um, pretty rad and they say B set Mattel on them I don't know at any rate, they were not expensive, and I look forward to telling you how great or four of a product I ordered after I get them on and get to play with them. So, we got some rough weather coming through Texas. It's going to slow down the bite. 
Um, so it's got I've got some time to do some stuff other than paddle and fish. Yep, the last thing. This is awesome. I'm super excited about it. I want to be careful. There's some small parts in here. This is my PWM speed controller. Because I have a Minn Kota Classic 28 uh, Facebook Marketplace. Found it for 20 bucks. I got a replacement prop for 14. So I got my trolling motor for 38 bucks. Not bad. Uh, don't know how I'm going to like it. But I will find out. So it looks like the parts in here <clears throat> were just from the switch knob. I guess I know we're not super close right now, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I won't go into detail on it. If you know what this is, great. If you don't, again, subscribe to the channel. I will go through all of this stuff. This little $16 mod that I'm gonna add onto my $20 Facebook Marketplace trolling motor um, should, in theory, add a lot of runtime to my trolling motor battery. Um, I understand electronics. Hopefully I can share some of that knowledge and experience with you. I'm running LiPo batteries. It's a 14, uh, 14 volt system, basically 16 when they're charged, 17 when they're charged, 16.8 to be exact. Anywho, if you know about electronics, you're comfortable with this stuff, great. I'm using uh, a couple lipo batteries um <clears throat> and uh they're not a hundred milliamp hour capacity <clears throat> so um i'm trying to save some weight and this is going to increase the efficiency <clears throat> excuse me this is going to increase the efficiency of my Minn Kota trolling motor from the standard ppm to a pwm uh so that it's not drawing full current uh, full amperage, um, and, uh, and also it gives me a, a lot more adjustability. So super excited about that. Not going to put the knob on quite yet, but, um, I will be extending these wires, uh, depending on where I place the PWM module, all that good stuff. Um, like I said, I won't go into detail. There's like no markings on this, but you know what? Plenty of folks on YouTube have shared the knowledge. So I do appreciate you. If you're still here and you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe to the channel. Um, give it a like. If you've got any suggestions uh, or, or input on some of the stuff I've already mentioned, if you've got experience with any of this stuff from before, please start a conversation in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Believe me, like I'm doing all of this stuff because of previous experiences. As you can see, I got a few hobbies. And also, uh, because quite honestly, a bunch of the YouTube community has made it look easy. So hopefully I can share some of that knowledge with you, give you a closer look. There it is. It's going to make my batteries, not make the batteries last longer, but give me more runtime. So again, if you're still here, thanks for enjoying. Appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time. Be well. Gonna be awesome. Oh, that, I know what that is. That's a little mouse. Or that guy right there. So it's a through hole mount. Awesome. Oh, yeah.